Steve. Hi, my name is Jay. Stamos. Okay, good to, good to meet you, Jay. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> I'm not when I was 15 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Exhibition Stadium. People get excited around the legend, Tony Fernandez. Tony, you coming back to Toronto for Flashback Fridays? Is this bigger than when you got your name put in the uh, Ring of Fame tonight? Well, it is. It is always good to come back and you know, be among friends, among people that I respect. You know, and uh, we, uh, um, you know, everybody likes to be celebrated, right. not tolerated. Right. <laughs> so coming back here gives us, give us a chance uh, to remember how much you were appreciated. What was your first initial thought when you heard that Tito Gaston was going to be taken back over as the Blue Jays manager? Well, I'll be afraid. Right for that moment. Uh, and I mean, we all, uh, well, he will be reinstated in his position. Uh, somehow, I say I wanted him to finish his career with dignity, whether it was here or somewhere else. But of course, it will be more meaningful here in Germany. Why do you think he didn't get a job opportunity after two World Series wins? That, that's a tough question. You know, that the, uh, only the media, uh, I think the media will, will have a better answer to that than us because we just don't, don't understand it. I mean, uh, some people, we, we, we get we get the break, uh, but I don't know why he wasn't getting that break. Uh, but you know what? Justin will always be well, and, uh, and he has in this case. Let me ask you a question. What do you think was a better double play tandem? You and Roberto Alomar, or you and Omar Vizquel? Well, Remember, second baseman wasn't my, my best position. Sure, top was. Yes. And Omar well, plays short. Right, most so I believe that uh, when I play, uh, uh, when I play short with Robbie, was a good combination. For us, when, when Robbie and Omar played together, uh, uh, and Robbie played together, that was a great combination too. I know that Robbie was at the end of his career. Yeah. But I still, uh, it's, it's a tough one. It's a <laughs> tough one. You you have to make that decision. <laughs> I'm here with the great shortstop Tony Fernandez of the Toronto Blue Jays. Tony, do you reminisce with the old guys, the George Bells, the Willie Upshire, the Lloyd Mosby? Do you guys get together anytime and just talk about the old days when you guys were so young but coming up together and then building a championship with Ernie Wayne and Kelly Gruber? Like the good old days. Do you ever guys just get together and talk and reminisce about the good early Toronto Blue Jay days? I, I, I dream of doing that. I, I really want to get together, but unfortunately we don't get together as often as we would like to. Jesse, you know, I see Jesse. Jesse was there yesterday uh, at our golf tournament with us. Uh, I wanted, I wanted to have Lloyd and, and George also, George, but it wasn't. Yeah, we were, we were not able to get him to come. But I would love to have an activity with the foundation one day and have all this life together. And like you say, you know, uh, uh, be able to, to look back on those days, uh, whether, you, whether you, can, you can talk about the good old days. Right? And just one more question. You look over on the other side of the field and you see Mike Timlin still playing baseball, still pitching, and nevertheless still effective. Does that shock you that a pitcher he used to throw hard for the Blue Jays, he's about 45 years old and he's still throwing hard? Do you, do you, what do you think about his longevity in this sport as a pitcher? Uh, no, uh, I think that's a tribute to him. Uh, hardworking, you know, it's a hardworking man, and uh, the, uh, that boost right there that if you have the heart, you have integrity, uh, and uh, a little bit of faith, please, and God, you could, you could take your game to another level. And uh, so I tip my hat to Mark, you know, and, uh, he's, he's, uh, he has persevered. And uh, I wish that he continues to play until he, until he can. Uh, <laughs> because one day his body's going to say, no more, no more, no more. What do you miss about Toronto, the city? Uh, I, w I would say the, the, uh, the people, you know, uh, the warmth of the people, uh, the acceptance of the people, you know, the city. Uh, my, my family felt here comfortable. They felt at home. Uh, I miss I miss them. I miss like like because like, it's part of my country. It's like it's like being. Uh, I feel like sometimes like I was born here. Right. It's my second country. Right. So I miss that. Uh, I miss that sense of protection that I used to get here. Was that devastating to you when you got traded to the San Diego Padres? Uh, was that a devastating thing because Toronto was in love with your team. Toronto used to fill this up with 50,000 fans. Uh, it was hard. It was hard because this was a home. Like I said, I was home. Right. It was my second home. Right. So, uh, it, it was hard. Uh, 
But I, it never hit me until I, I played my first game in San Diego when I heard the, uh, the Canadian national anthem. Right. And that's when it hit me that I was that I wasn't normal. Yeah, thank you very much. Great my choice stop, Tony Fernandez, the Toronto Blue Jays. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that to the match. Have All a right. beautiful Take night. Care. Thank you.